is a web designer. He's been doing this for a long time. And he has volunteered. He has a blog at blog.jeffkey.com. He has volunteered to explain the inexplicable Ajax. Oh boy. We hear, we hear, oh boy, is right. Oh boy, we hear a lot about it. Yeah. It is a technology that is very commonly used in Web 2.0 in the new web. Yeah. But what the heck is it? Well, basically, Ajax, uh, I'm not even going to bother explaining to you what it stands for. It won't make much sense anyways. Well, we'll tell everybody, but well, it's, it's asynchronous JavaScript and XML. How do you know this? You just told me <laughs> <laughs> before the show began. I said, what does it stand for? Oh, did I? Okay. Yes. Well, I did then. Um, yeah, so Ajax is basically a method to transfer data between the user's computer and the web server without having to reload the entire page. You see that all the time on websites where you, yeah. you change one thing or you submit a form and the whole page, you have to wait for the whole oh, yeah, page to redraw. It goes white, yeah. and then the whole thing downloads all over again. Right. And you know, it, it, it takes more time, it takes more bandwidth, right. uh, especially if you're running a gigantic website like Facebook or MySpace, which has about 100 million plus users. So is That's everybody using JavaScript now? I mean, is that the, Ajax? I mean, Ajax, is that the, is that the hot thing? Um, it, they should be. Yeah, Google uses be. it on Google's homepage. Go Google, Google Maps is one of the first major Ajax using applications that was released, and I think that's what kind of made it big. It, it kind of tossed it out there to all the developers in the world saying, hey, this is Ajax. Right. That was in 2005. Yeah, once Google adopts yeah. something, that makes it real. Google does it, everybody does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. basically what it is. So you've got a so, diagram here that kind of maybe will yeah. help us understand where in this it fits. Yeah, this is how Ajax works, basically. Okay, in this diagram here, um, the gray egg represents whatever is on the user's computer, okay? That's uh, my the, computer, the, the gray That's egg. right. Okay. That's your computer when, when you know, Joe Blow is on, 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 on the, the, on the internet. Okay. Yeah. So here's the actual visual HTML, uh, HTML page uh, coupled with a JavaScript file, which is a file that runs on the client's side computer. Okay? Right. So let's say you enter a specific data or make a query of any sort that you want to do this. Right. Okay. Data gets entered, the JavaScript processes it, right. and then it sends it to the server. Okay. Now, once you get go over the buffer zone here, the gray, uh, the, the gold egg that I have, you're not on your own computer anymore. This part is done strictly on the server side. Your computer doesn't see anything that happens beyond the server. So you're now on the web server, That's right. say google.com or, right. or myspace. That's right. So okay. instead of sending the whole page over, just send the core data that, that it needs to send over to process a certain function. To so Ajax really file. allows the, your local browser to do more work and it, only it communicate when necessary. It, that, yeah. That's right. That's right. It's it's a segregation of the of the functionalities to take a load off the server. Right. Do the work to, yourself. Give it to browser. individual computers, which can easily handle it. Yeah, doesn't of make, course. It's not huge. Like these so the only yeah. conversation really going on now between my computer and the server is just little bits of data that are just being sent back Just little bits of data forth. and whatever needs to be added or removed from right. the existing right. page instead okay. of the whole thing back and forth. Okay? Well, you can see how this is more efficient. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. absolutely yeah. yeah. So the PHP file here can, or ASP, whatever you want to use, can process it, go into a database, you know, do all the complicated stuff that and that has to be that server side, because it has all the side, data absolutely. over there. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Server, the server holds the database, right? right? So, and then it spits the data back, PHP file processes it, creates an output, gives it to the JavaScript file. The JavaScript file knows where to put the specific block of output, instead of having to reload the whole thing. So here's here's kind of an example of how it works. This is my client's website, Rhonda Sherwood. This is my first Ajax. His first module. Ajax. My first, very first Ajax module. <laughs> just did it as an experiment, basically. Okay. Uh, it's an email newsletter subscription form. All right. Usually, you type in your email, right? Let's say so Jeff, pretty uh, Jeff .com. Normally, you press submit. If you enter, and then the whole thing will go the, white. The whole page draws. Reload, again. and right. then it'll say thank you for subscribing, right. or or it'll say your email's already ick, on the list. Ick, ick, ick. We don't want to do that. Too much. Too much. Okay. When you press enter on this, it's only going to change. You just get, yeah, it, it didn't load. See, already here. Your email is already on around this list. It's already processed the data in the back end, checked that my email is already Got in the it. database, and it's better. So back the only out. thing it updated was yeah. that little text there. That's right. This little box is all that you, it needs to update. And it saved all this bandwidth. Uh, the user right. didn't have to wait, right. you know, two, three seconds for it to load. It's and, a much better user experience. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And people are getting impatient, you know. If you use MySpace, you've probably seen this. Right? MySpace, yeah. Thank you for bringing or that Facebook up. Or Facebook uses it a lot too. Facebook, yeah. MySpace is really bad in the sense that they don't use Ajax. They should use more yeah. Ajax. Okay, here. Um, uh, you they know what? redraw right the page here. every five. Right here. Yes. Right here. There's, right here. There's an example right Gwen here. Gwen Stefani's page. How long? It, how long? It, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's I Gabrielle's would. page. I wish I was. She about. loves Gwen Stefani. She does okay. actually. She's my friend Gabrielle. Um, so. Let's say I want to leave a message on her wall, okay? Right. Here's how many clicks and how many reloads it takes, okay? To get to the page, for one click already, 
add comment, two clicks. See so yeah, how the whole thing We have to realized. redraw the there whole go, page. White. Thank Freeland, you. Missouri. Hey, Gabrielle. I, I'm glad you've finally given me, my daughter says, why, what's TV. wrong? I say, my space is awful. She said, what's wrong with it? I'm going to say now. It doesn't yeah. use oh, Ajax, yeah, honey. Yeah, yeah. So that's two clicks there. Yeah. Okay, three, three clicks. clicks. Also comments. New page. Reloads again. Okay. And, and by the way, 50% of the time it's going to say, sorry, the server's busy, do it again later. For my, they, they have some problems with that. They do this. a lot. So now, after all the re-rolls, we're back in this page, okay? Right. Let's go to Facebook. This is my friend, Steph. And Facebook's okay. a little more Facebook, Java. Uh, uh, much more uh, uh, efficient. Yeah. Let's look say, at that already. Say hi to Steph. You just click one thing. There it goes. Okay. Hey, I'm on TV. Right? Hey, I'm on the, TV. The, the module is already in there. You don't have to refresh the page right. to get to this. You just form, press okay? the button. It pops up. They down. all work yep. as individual components. Okay. Got it. You click on post. Watch what happens. Doesn't read the page. No. Do boom. Done. That's one Ajax. That's right Ajax. there. That's, That's Ajax. Ajax. That's what it does. That's how good it is. It's amazing. <laughs> Here's another example. He's a man this, who loves his work. <laughs> this is a this is an uh, advertising serving format that I've that I've made for uh, John Chow, who's been on your show. Previously. Oh, yeah, John was just here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually I'm actually doing this project for him, and this is probably one of the more complex Ajax um, projects that I have. So. See all this data here, that sentry? Yeah. Here? Okay. These are the color settings for your uh, prof profile um, for the advertisement. Okay? Right. Like what colors they use. If you want to save this as a separate channel, all you need to do, enter here. Sample. Okay. Save template. Done. That's Boom. it. It it's didn't redraw the page. It just all the data has been entered to a MySQL database on the back end, and it retrieves a new list with the new thing added on, and it updated the code. Simple as that. So when somebody says to you, you need more Ajax, that's what they're talking about. That's what they're talking about. We, we need to make life simpler. Is it a lot of work users. for the programmer, as somebody like you who's designing this? Is it more work to create a page like this? Well, I'm really good at this, so no. You're used for to me, it. But, <laughs> but you, because you've developed libraries and you've done yeah. a lot, you, you, just, yeah. you know how to do it. It will be a step. It's a stepping stone for any developer right. to get into this. But right. if you understand the dynamics of JavaScript and server-side functions such as PHP and ASP, it's not that bad. And besides, uh, Ajax frameworks are available. Right. You don't have to write the entire Ajax. You said you use PrototypeJS. PrototypeJS is yeah. the one that I use. Um, yeah. It's the most robust one. So you know, it doesn't it doesn't take you know a year to develop this. It, it's just it's it is a little bit of extra work compared to what you usually did and you just have to think it's kind of rewire your brain in terms of how web development works but right. once you, once I took the step I've done a few Ajax programs and you know this is really complex and I, and I pulled it off and it's now the standard really I mean it, it a, a, a good website although Jacob Nielsen recently said he's a web usability guru yeah. so people are using too much of this web 2.0 stuff yeah. they're forgetting the user experience so you got to keep that but all web designers have to do that give the bells and whistles yeah. sometimes they'll suck you in you start playing with it that's right you got to keep in mind the user experience well basically the whole point of Ajax being developed was for the Better user, user experience. experience. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. as you saw, it made it faster. Yeah. MySpace took four clicks and four refreshes Horrible. to do what Facebook took more refreshes. Right? That's why only Pretty teenagers much. use MySpace. They've got time. They've That's got right. the time. That's right. Any normal we person don't. is going to say, "I don't have the time." No. I don't no. Have the time. You, you write something, post, click, it has to be up there. Jeff That's Key right. saves people time at Jeff Key Consulting. It's online at jeffkey.com, and you can read his blog at blog.jeffkey.com. Um, Jeff, thanks, thanks so much for being here. We hey, really no appreciate problem. it. My pleasure. All right, let's take a break. Come back with more of your calls. What? We're done? All right, a final word. We'll wrap this thing up. Maybe we'll see how uh, Sean's smoke came out when the lab continues. Stay right here.